the parking lot of LaSalle's Family Dollar stays busy. Uh -huh. Eric, turn on your camera. But this May, one car caught the eye of two of the town's seven police officers. What does it come back on? Nothing. That's Officer Eric Hernandez. It's his third day on patrol in LaSalle. It's also his last. Double parked. But neither he nor training officer Sam Johnson know that yet. We've got a complaint so we can tell it. They're suspicious because the car is newly painted, the plate didn't ping in their system, and it's taking up two spots. And a roller paint job mm -hmm. on a car with that headlight, that's suspicious. Yeah. You have every reason to start questioning somebody about that. So, you know, the officers, uh, you know, were uh, exercising their discretion as to how far they wanted to look into this, uh, but uh, before anything could happen, uh, you know, the um, incident unraveled so quickly, there was no time to even address that issue. As they walk the store, the driver, Justin Reffel, takes off. There he, go. there he goes. The officers chase after him. She's still in here. In just seconds, they'll shoot and kill him. We'll stop the video before they do. Remember, these officers are investigating a suspicious car. Shoot you. Ruffle ignores their commands. Hernandez later says Ruffle tried to back over him. The video shows he's standing to the side when he shoots. Police say Ruffle died of a single gunshot. It's a video depicts a use of force situation that is not justified based on the circumstances. Get on the ground now! Get, Get on the ground! The two officers aren't done. They handcuff this woman in the store parking lot. What was his name? Why? You don't know his name, but you were going to shoot him. OK. You can officer Hernandez is now facing a second degree murder charge. The LaSalle chief tells me the other officer is back on the job. The chief says he doesn't think the shooting should have happened, but he can't speak to Hernandez's perception of whether he was in danger. And that use of force expert we spoke with says that will likely play a big role in the officer's defense. So confusing to see this play out to think that a suspicious vehicle leads to, in a matter of seconds, someone losing their life. And officers will say that's one of their concerns as they go through this. The police chief, for his part, says that he believes his officers followed policy up until the moment of the shooting. And that's when he says he can't be sure how they felt in that moment. I'll certainly be uh, following this as it goes to trial. Kyle, excuse me, Cole, thank you.